you can use Google Slides in order to have an editable product that you can share with your students or families asynchronously or use together during screen share presentations with synchronous therapy or lessons. Here's how it works. First, make sure that the slide is in the edit mode. Very important, it should say edit at the top. If you have it in presentation mode, you will not be able to type into it. Next, look for the blue boxes. These are text boxes. In here, you can put your name, me. Finally, look here at the tabs. Each of these tabs will connect you to another slide. For example, this one will take me right here to slide two. On here, I can see the different directions for how to use these notebooks. From there, I can click on any of these tabs in order to go to a different slide. On this ninth picture, you can see that I have the opportunity to give this picture a title, a day at the shore. I can type in here what I see. I can describe what she looks like, take a guess at how she might be feeling, and type in what she's doing. On this side, I can create a story about this picture. So I can make up my characters and give them names. I can decide, oops, I just went to the wrong slide. I can decide where and when the story takes place. And then I can go through what's happening at the beginning. She is playing at the beach. There's a problem because, so then she has to make a plan. And then she has to act on that plan. And then we have to have a finale to our story. And a wrap up. After that story is done, the student can be completed with the task or they can move on to another page. Finally, the last page right here, yours, you can get there by clicking on the tab, gives you an opportunity to insert your own photo here. So in order to do this in edit mode, it's quite easy. You just need to have a photo available somewhere on your computer, preferably your desktop, that you can, oops, that image was too big. Uh, let's see if I can do this one. Yeah, it's just a cover. It's just the cover that I happen to have on my desktop. And I can just pull it right in as long as it's not too big. And there I have a new picture. I can title it and go through all the same procedures. Something to note is that because you're in edit mode, you can see all the slides on the left hand side. And that is another way to get from slide to slide in case you don't want to click on the tabs. You can also get back to the top by clicking on the very first slide. Some things to note that because you're in edit mode, your students, if you assign this to them in Google Classroom or through a link in email, your students will be able to make changes to this. For example, they might take the background image and start moving it around, which then obviously is going to mess up where the placement is. So knowing that this may happen, what you want to do is you make sure that before you share it with your students, you come up here to the top. Up here, get rid of edit, slide, etc. I mean, change it to copy. And then you can copy and paste this link for your students make a copy, send it to them, then they cannot mess up your original. Hopefully that is helpful and you find these Google Slide interactive notebooks to be an extremely useful tool for your toolbox of things to do through digital means during um, this time.